Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video may contain copyrighted images being used underneath Fair Use Act for educational purposes. Sorry I didn't get part 5 out yesterday, but i um, busy dealing with the madness out in the consumer world. have to build a new computer. This one's oh, 12, 13 years old. And um, it's getting tired, so... I saved probably about $200 dealing with the madness yesterday, and I'll have a real fast computer, one fast enough to play games on if I wanted to, or or do video editing if I wanted to, a lot of video editing. Um, but anyways, uh, let's get to part five. But before I start, I want to show you this uh, little clip here. It's done by Astronaut. Um, he took some uh, a clip from Mark and the Media, and then I uh, made this video. Let's check it out. Don't take my word for it. I could be a mental patient recently released from an institution. I'd like to stay out of your life and you to stay out of my too. I don't want you near. Take a train to the other side of the world. Stay there, don't come back. To go now for you naysayers out there that says Flat Earth Society, friend and member of... The Society, Mark Sargent. Well done, astronaut. Um, I'll leave his link down below if you want to check that out again or check out his other work. Um, I also want to point out this video here um, by this guy, Jonathan Mitchteams. Sorry, Jonathan, if I butchered your last name. Didn't mean to. Um, he uh, goes into detail about 501c3s. Um, what Metatron can and can't do, and, and basically they can do anything they want, pay themselves however much they want. They can pay themselves 90% of what they take in. <laughs> you know, they'll get criticism, but they can do it. Just make it look legit on paper. Okay. All right. Um, I'll leave his link uh, down below. In the first half of his video, he goes into detail about 501c3s. And um, what Metatron is likely going to do. or I wouldn't say likely going to do. He didn't say that. But what they can and can't do. All right. So let's get started here with the first question. Now I want to point out. I've said this before. This this subscription to Flat Earth, Flat Earth Core. It's a deception. A distraction. This amount of money to them is meaningless. They're not looking for twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year which they'll probably get from this if that they need hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars for all the equipment they want to buy they they said themselves a lot of the equipment's twenty and thirty thousand dollars and they need two or three of each you know um so they need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars this is just like i say a distraction to make you look like it's an independent organization what it's which it's not so let's listen here. Um, they ask, uh, can you specify what your money goes to? What experiment? Um, Bob tells you no. But again, I guess Bob didn't do his research because the chairman and president throws him under the bus again. Bob, we all know you suck at it. But damn it, try doing some research for once. Because you've been wrong all throughout this video. You guys been double speaking, spinning, sending out 
uh, double messages. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. All right, let's listen. Next question. Um, experiment B needs $500, but only has $100. Do you move the money to experiment A, even though the contributor did not specify that experiment? Um, and I guess I'll, I'll handle that. I, first of all, I don't think that it, we are set up to specifically have money donated at two specific experiments. I think it all goes into a general fund for all the experiments. Am I correct in that? assumption Mike no 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 okay. yeah. no, the, no no you all wrong again Bob how about stop assuming things Bob there are, there is an option to contribute uh, there or, or there is there is going to be an option that uh, somebody can contribute directly to a project but um, uh, uh, the way that's, that we, we are going to handle that is something that also we have to discuss. Um, uh, if, if somebody uh, this space, uh, for instance, donates $100 to an experiment that uh, requires, let's, let's say, $50,000 to fund it, you know, uh, when they put in $100, that's not much, you know. <laughs> that's right. See, I mean, they're laughing. <laughs> $100, that's not much. You cheap. Bastard you. <laughs> we need more money now. We need like 50000 See what I mean? All this is just a distraction, you know? <laughs> because uh, Bob, uh, later on in this video, uses the word government money. <laughs> in fact, I think it's the next clip. We done with this one? No, a little bit more. Compared to compared to the fifty thousand that we need, or or you know whatever amount you can think of, if we if we uh, whatever amount we can think of, uh, um, uh, get that uh, can use that hundred dollars to complete another experiment, uh, or use it for that, you know, uh, uh, and the results are just as groundbreaking. Yeah, sure, why not? But. You know, uh, if if contributors do not want that, you know, we just leave their money there on the project themselves. Uh, and if we ask them and they do agree, then why not? You know. Okay. Well, there All the money's going into one general fund. You could sit there and specify it. You want to go it for whatever, but it's probably going to end up in somebody's pocket. It's the way that works. You know, ask the Red Cross. Ask NASA. NASA. All right. Let's listen to Bob here about the list of contributors. Remember, right? They said they're going to be accountable and with the public and all that stuff, but you know it's all a lie. <laughs> They've been lying and double speaking all throughout this video. Let's listen. There you go. That's something I didn't know, so I just learned something new as well on that. That's good to know. All right. Next question. Um, will we be disclosing um, a list of our contributors? And I can answer that and say, absolutely not. Not. No way. Uh, that would be absurd, um, and there's no way that's ever going to happen. Again, uh, our uh, corporate donors, government, whoever, anybody that donates to this, um, for the most part, right, I, well, next question, for the entire part, will be kept completely confidential. Um, this is something that, once again, you people just hear want that? to get a hold of this just uh, so that they can go out and chastise. Um, you know. Did you hear that? Let me back that up. Absolutely not. Not. No way. Uh, that would be absurd, um, and there's no way that's ever going to happen. Again, uh, our uh, corporate donors, government, whoever. Corporate donors, government. Like I said, they set this up for government grants. The only other way anybody's going to put in this money, like I said, is if they got uh, dirty money to launder. You know, from the sex trade, from the drug trade, whatever. There's a lot of people out there looking to launder money through willing.orgs. And I'll bet you these clowns will be willing. All right. Um, but there you go. There's no accountability. Let's listen more to Anybody Bob. that donates to this, um, for the most part, I, well, for, for the entire part, will be kept completely confidential. Um, this is something that, once again, people will want to get a hold of this just so that they can go out and chastise, um, you know, the donors or the corporations or governments or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah. any any 
entity that has donated or will donate or has pledged donations absolutely will not be disclosed to the public. This is going to be kept absolutely confidential, and it is absurd to even think that we would disclose that information. It's absurd to even think they would have accountability. It's absurd to even tell you, hey, we're receiving federal money. You know what? If they receive federal money, it's hush money. That's what it is. If you go listen to Jonathan, he kind of—I think he kind of explains that. It's hush money. <laughs> they ain't gonna do anything to blow getting more money next year after that from the government. So, let's move on here. Um. Oh, uh-oh. Let's check this out. Will uh, money be used for uh, uh, bar tabs and shit like that? Sure it will. But it won't be used for shirts. That's what Bob says. And then the chairman agrees. But then Skiba speaks up and said, Hey, man, we need clothes for brand advertisement, man. <laughs> so nobody knows what's what. And, I mean, they've had months. You know, Rick Hummer started talking about this to the guys about a year ago. They've had months and months and months to get their shit together. But they can't even agree amongst themselves. Let's listen to this nonsense. And the, the donors who donate. Yes. Okay. All right. Next up. Um, will funds be used for board conferences, bar tabs, logoed shirts, unnecessary waste, I guess I'm asking. Uh, well, I, I would say um, board conferences, I don't know, maybe. I mean, obviously there's going to be legitimate expenses. Why do you guys have to travel for board conferences? That's not legitimate. That just means you all want to get together and take a vacation. You got Skype. Like you've been Skyping every week, you said. Jaron said the other day in his video. Imagine that. You guys been Skyping all this time and you guys still can't get your story straight. You contradict each other. Do the yes, no thing. Yes, no. Yes, no. That way people don't know what to think, huh? Kind of shit our government does. All right. Let's listen some more. Um, that are required um, for the cost of doing business, right? I run a business. Uh, let's face it. There are costs for doing businesses. And, and whatever those costs are, uh, be they reasonable, of course, funds will be used for that because that's part of the operating capital of any business. As far as bar tabs and logoed shirts, um, I, I'm not so sure about that. I don't think so. Um, and not only that, I don't think any of us are, you know, huge drinkers. I know I'm not. Uh, T-shirts, well, I, the only thing that I can say, and I may be wrong on this, but if we had logoed shirts or anything like this, then it would probably be made for resale so that it, we, at the very least, recouped our cost for stuff. You're going to try to make money off T-shirts. <laughs> I mean, shit, you can't even give a person that's spending $150 a T-shirt. Let's listen. Stuff like that. Um, but I don't think they would be outright expenditures. Uh, any comments on that? So he says T-shirts wouldn't be outright expenditures. Expendi expenditures for him. I can't even talk right today. Um, and then the chairman says, oh, I agree. And then Rick and Rob jump in there. Let's listen. No, well, I, I, can... I, I, I agree. Yeah. Well, the only thing I can think of that you'd have to buy any type of apparel-wise is during the test in Hungary on the ice, the only thing I could think of would be like something like a reflective vest or something bright colored. But even then, you know, we can always discuss that where you bring something that you already have. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, well, but yeah. also, you know, things like logoed shirts or hats or stuff like that is standard practice in terms of uh, brand recognition. Absolutely. You know, uh, it, it's yep. an it's an advertisement for who you are. Uh, you know, I'm not saying we take all our funds and start throwing it into frisbees and hats and T-shirts and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, but I am saying if we're out there doing tests, if we're all wearing the shirt, you know, not only is it, you know, a brand recognition for the video itself, but as we're walking around town, wherever we are, you know, it's a talking point. It's an 
Well, there you go. They'll be in Hungary the first time around. The, the lake they're supposed to be on, I guess, is going to be frozen. Um, so, yeah, they'll buy T-shirts, hats, uh, big old jackets, you know, like the Weather Channel does from L.L. Bean that say, you know, uh, F.E. Core. <laughs> yeah, in a year, they'll have everything. Hats, beanies, muffins, gloves, all F.E. Core. Shoes. I don't know about shoes. I'm just being sarcastic. Anyways, last little clip here, I think. Um, let's listen to this. Somebody did type a question in chat where they're asking which map is FE Core using and or promoting. None. 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 <laughs> None. None. But they all promote the AE map. That's a bunch of bullshit. You guys are supposed to be neutral scientists and engineers. You're supposed to be neutral until you do the research. Until you make sure the continents of the AE map are the right size. Because even if the continents are in the right place, if they're wrong, they're the wrong size, the map is wrong. Utter nonsense. And then, uh, then right after they say they don't, they don't subscribe to a map, and by the way, they're all AEers, and I'm pretty sure they're all domers, dumbers. But not only that, just 10 hours later, Jaren posts this video crying because the AE map was removed from no school. Now, Jaren says he goes there because it's got all wind speeds, wind temperatures, you know, ground level wind speeds, you know, high altitude wind speeds, and, and Jaron thinks this is probably accurate. I guess he thinks there's satellites in space measuring all this shit. Y'all ever seen that hacking website where they go, you go to and it's got these freaking lines going across the stream from Russia and China hitting the U.S.? You know, well that thing's fake as fuck, much like this null school map. But Jaron made a 10 minute video crying about they removed it too much truth so this nonsense that they don't push a map is just that nonsense and another lie on top of oh four hours of lies they did the other day have a good day everybody